everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger. And for day 25 of Drawcember, we're doing another creature creation video. Today's creatures are a panda, a deer, and a chipmunk. So if you guys remember for last week's creature creation video, I was finding myself struggling to figure out how to combine the animals and then I decided to draw them all as they are separately to then gain inspiration of how to draw them as one uniform creature. So I decided to start today with drawing all these animals as they are, as separate animal entities. I also decided to bust out the ballpoint pen to allow myself to feel more free in my sketching and not worry as much about the lines that I'm putting down, just focusing more on the ideas than the product, I guess. But I'm really glad that I decided to draw all these creatures ahead of time, because it definitely kind of gave me an idea of what aspects of each creature I like and which aspects of each animal really define that animal. Now that we're done with that, let's get to the creature creation portion of the video. I could be wrong, but I think this might be my first creature creation where I actually liked every single thing I came up with. This first one is largely based off of the body of a chipmunk with his big fat cheeks and his round little body. But I gave him more of a panda coloring, also some panda ears, and he's munching on a little bit of bamboo. And then I stuck some itty bitty baby antlers on there, as well as a little deer tail, but that's not super clear, I suppose. I also decided to put little white dots in his coloring to sort of hint at the deer, I suppose. This next one is more of a panda body with a chipmunk tail and coloring. And then I thought it would be funny if he was carrying his bamboo stash in his antlers. This last one is almost more like a zebra or something. It's supposed to be the deer body, but with panda coloring and a chipmunk tail. In the end, it was so hard for me to choose which one I wanted to go with as my final creature, but I decided to go with the panda base with the bamboo in his antlers. I think I just liked the creative aspect of having the bamboo going through his antlers. It was just an idea that I couldn't let go of. So even though I like the character designs of the other two a lot, I liked having this other aspect to the drawing that wasn't necessarily related to the animals. Obviously it's related to what they eat, but it's, it's not actually a characteristic of any one of them to be able to carry something in their antlers because that's not realistic, period. Another thing that makes me like these creatures I created is the fact that they look a lot like Avatar Last Airbender creatures. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I'll leave a link to a list of all the creatures that they have in their show, but they tend to just take two animals and combine them. Some of the more famous ones are the platypus bear and the saber-toothed moose lion. Do you guys remember that episode where Sokka's stuck in the ground and there's the little baby moose lion? <laughs> oh man, I love that show. Let me know if you guys love that show too. Honestly, I think it's probably one of the best animated shows out there, so if you haven't seen it, you should definitely give it a watch. But there's just something about all these little characters that seem like they could belong in the Avatar Last Airbender universe. Maybe it's just me.
So I think what really ties the chipmunk into this character is the coloring. Overall, he just kind of looks like a happy bear with antlers, but once you get the coloring in, he starts to look a little bit more like a chipmunk. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I think this is one of my favorite creature creations yet at least as far as the whole experience goes. I think that my monkey from last week is still more creative than this one and maybe more successful, I don't know. I think you could argue either way, but something about these guys is just so cute. And like I said in the last video, that's kind of been my goal of this whole experience is to make cute little creatures because that's something that I really struggle with. I'm really bad at coming up with creative original animals and stuff but I love that kind of fantasy genre. And so if I could successfully come up with my own creatures and animals for a story, that would probably be just the ultimate success in my opinion. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this creature creation session as much as I did. As always, feel free to leave your suggestions or ideas about how you would have combined these three animals. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.